Climate Change Documenting the Study Context by Kate. The community of focus is exploring how climate change specifically affects the inhabitants of the coastal cities in California, including Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach, the South Bay, LA, and up the coast as well. We're also focusing on how the sea life and the surrounding areas are affected by climate change. The first major impact is rising sea levels and temperatures. Sea levels are going to rise even further. A federal study found that Los Angeles and other coastal areas of the United States will experience frequent flooding, degraded infrastructure, and other profound challenges as sea levels rise by as much as one foot by 2050. Juliet Hart, a researcher for the United States Geological Survey and former member of Manhattan Beach's Sustainability Task Force, said that naturally occurring king tides, the extreme high tides that go far up the beach on average eight times a year and last year at one point carved a channel almost the length of the Manhattan Pier, are a window into what the future will look like. She also noticed that as these tides hit the cliffs and bluffs, they're going to erode the bottom of them and potentially lead to them collapsing. There are beach and safety issues. The water doesn't only go over, it goes under. So there's intrusion of salt water into our groundwater tables as well, which um, decreases the quality of drinking water that we have. And in addition, a species of tunicate, a pyrosome, has been recently washing up on LA beaches. They usually inhabit warmer waters and live further south, and this is an indicator of rising ocean temperatures in our community here today. This picture I took at Manhattan Beach where I noticed that as I've been going to the beach, there are a lot of these strange looking um, fingers, and I researched and I found out that they were actually pyrosomes. The next major impact is weather patterns. El Nino, a phenom phenomenon that occurs in the Pacific Ocean, will worsen. The picture on the right is an, a picture of El Nino and the weather patterns there. And El Nino is a natural periodic warming in the peri Pacific Ocean that can change weather patterns globally. It has been forming farther to the west in the Pacific Ocean where temperatures are warmer, but one 2014 study suggests that the super El Nino events could double in the future due to climate change. Using 20 climate models to examine possible changes in El Nino over the next 100 years, the scientists projected that extreme El Nino events could occur at roughly every 10 years instead of every 20 years. These events are devastating, usually entitling hurricanes, droughts, major floods, and this affects the Pacific Coast, especially wetter regions like the Pacific Northwest, but these events like hurricanes and droughts, also affect the global community as well. Thank you for listening to my presentation on how climate change can affect the local community in California as well as the rest of the world, and this is why we definitely need a solution. Thank you.